First on five, presidential hopeful Ted Cruz made a campaign stop in Daphne today. It was a packed house at the Daphne Civic Center. Cruz is winning in Iowa and continues to climb in the polls. But how did he score with the folks in Baldwin County? News 5's Emily DeVoe reports. So I'm here to tell you today, help is on the way. The Texas senator earned a lot of standing ovations during his rally in Daphne. People snapped pictures and waved signs as Cruz laid out his presidential to-do list, which includes wiping out all of President Obama's executive orders. President Obama likes to say he's got a phone and he's got a pen. Well, you live by the pen, you die by the pen. And my pen has got an eraser. Cruz touched on stopping Syrian refugees from coming into the U.S., investigating Planned Parenthood, tossing out Common Core, and the IRS. We need to take power out of Washington and back to we the people. That is what this campaign is all about. Almost everything he said earned an applause from the audience, which isn't necessarily surprising since some people waited in line for hours to see him. The next president of the United States of America, Rick Thomas from Fairhope, Alabama. Thank you. We wanted to make sure we got in and up to the front. The Texas senator even tossed out the possibility of picking Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions as his Secretary of Homeland Security. I got three words for you. Secretary Jeff Sessions. You want to talk about a Homeland Security Secretary who'll go down there and build the wall himself. When he finished the 40-minute speech, Thank you and God bless you. Cruz stayed another 30 minutes signing autographs and talking to local supporters, some who said they're impressed with what he had to say. Gives very good, uh, good points, very articulate very impressed with it. I would vote for him, for sure, yeah. Others may need a little more convincing. I'd like to see a little more about budget, mm -hmm. um, how we're going to deal with the national debt. It is a toss-up between Trump and Cruz, mm -hmm. but I'm actually uh, changing over. I'm moving over to Cruz. That's something Cruz says he hopes to hear more of as he vies to overcome front-runner Donald Trump and earn the Republican nomination. In Daphne, Emily DeVoe, News 5. Prior to his speech, the senator from Texas sat down for an exclusive and wide-ranging interview with our Emily DeVoe. Emily covered several topics like the role Alabama plays in his campaign, his strategy to overcome frontrunner Donald Trump, and why he thinks a true conservative can win the general election. We asked him what he thinks will happen if Hillary Clinton is elected, and here's what he said. We risk losing the entire country. The stakes have never been higher than they are right now. I think we're at the edge of a cliff. We're looking down. You know, in seven years, our national debt has gone from $10 trillion to over $18 trillion. We're bankrupting our kids and grandkids. And I'm convinced this next election, it's now or never. Now, I don't... now we will air the complete story in two parts on Monday in the 5 and 10 o'clock broadcasts.